Right, so I kind of just forgot about this part, so we have to be quick. Hello, so, um, yeah. I said I'd be here, I'm here. So, uh, yeah, I suppose there's nothing really else to say. Just, you know, I'm going to make some minifigures and, yeah. Alright, so since Jake is basically just one color, I'm going to start with him first. Alright, so surprisingly, we're going to start off by painting him yellow. Alright, so after doing a few coats of yellow, I'm going to move on to the black parts of his eyes. And while we're at it, might as well do his nose as well. And now it's time to paint those beautiful white pupils. Now for the inside of the mouth, I'm going to paint a nice fleshy red. Alright, for the time being, that's Jake done, so we're just going to move on to Finn. Starting off the pants, we're going to give it a nice deep blue. Now for the slightly lighter blue, we're going to paint his shirt. Now for the bag, we're going to paint it the appropriate shades of green. Alright, because Finn isn't a vampire, we're going to give him a nice little tan. Alright, well, because I'm even a bit too tan, I'm going to pull it back a bit. Alright, well now it's time for the details of his face. Well, that's terrifying. Moving on, it's now time to work on those bases. Now, I could just make the bases completely black, and for the most part that's what I did. But, where's the fun in that? So, to spice things up a little bit, I'm going to paint the tops a nice shade of green. You know, make some grass. And because I printed Jake upside down, his grass looks a little bit better, I suppose. And there we go, it's all done. Now it's time for those very anticlimactic glamour shots. 